I was involved in a felony aggravated assault causing serious bodily injury. Mm -hmm. And I got a two and a half year sentence and a two and a half suspended for three years. When do you get out? My rap date is October 20th, 2020, but with good time, it goes up and up and up. How were you when you came in and how are you now? Well, when I came in, of course, I was broken. You know, I was sad. I didn't know what direction I was going to go in. But now I've got my high set. I've completed domestic violence. I've had, I had a lot of domestic violence issues before. Um, I've really healed from those now because they have a great respond program here with uh, teacher Jen. Um, Christina Ruccio, who is the program director here, she brings in so many women's programs. Um, we have Joel Hurtwitz with education, who is an incredible high set teacher. Jen with Respond. Um, we have Miss Peggy, who does pastels and creative writing. I never even knew I could draw past a stick figure. And I have two pastel paintings hanging in the um, visiting room that are beautiful. So I've got into pastels. I'm doing a short um, memoir. I'm starting a memoir with creative writing. Um, I've done yoga. I'm doing culinary arts right now. So like the programs here are great. If it wasn't for Christina Ruccio, we would have like no programs for women only because this is a men's jail. Mm -hmm. You know, so she really brings a lot in for women. I'm in crew right now, which is a reentry program. It helps you get plugged in with jobs, um, housing if needed. I'll probably, what I want to get into is I want to go to barber in school when I leave here and just change my career paths totally. So hopefully, you know, when I get out, I can fix some of my financial loans that I have pending from when I went to medical assistant school and get my barber in license and move forward from there. Um, you said barbering? Yeah. What is that? Like to become a barber. Barber. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. okay. yeah. I have a lot of barbers in my family. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to be a hairdresser. I'd rather just be a barber. Um, what is it about... Come on, come on, wait, 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 wait. What is it about the programs? Like, how do they help you? They're really involved. Like, it's not just a group. Like, they don't just treat it as a group. They're really one-on-one. -on -one. Like, they really care about women here. I'm like, I've never done time. I a long time ago, I might have been housed in Nashua Street when they house women on a couple of bills, but I've never done time. So when I came here, I would have never expected it to be so hands-on the way it is. Like, they really care about you here. And it makes you feel good because this is jail. You know, you don't expect to be treated that way. And the issues that they address are real. And they really, if you want it, you know, you have to want it. So you could come in here and do the standard jail politic thing. But if you want to change and you want to better your life, South Bay definitely provides the programs that will give you that, you know, they'll give you that pathway if you want it. Mm -hmm. I want it. You know, I know Josephine wants it. And if you want it, they'll give it to you. They have definitely the outlets and the plugs on the street to help you to, you know, re-entry into the society, you know. What motivates you to keep going to, to when you get out? My family, my children, and just the fact that, like, there's more to life than this. You know, I believe that for whatever reason, I came here, it wasn't, I can't look at it as a bad thing. I have to look at it, there was a purpose for me to be here. Whether it was to, um, you know, choose a different path that I was on, but there's gotta be a, a, bigger, a bigger purpose for me that, you know, that I came here, you know what I mean? So I just have to keep going and stay on the road that I'm on right now for my kids and my family. So I ended up here, I was uh, recently um, released from MCI Framingham from doing three years sentence um, because I am a repeated re offender and I ended up here for breaking and entering, uh, larceny over, larceny under, and credit card fraud. Um, like I said, I'm a repeated offender. This is my 13th incarceration. Yeah. What's different? What's different now is that this time, um, I guess from the past, um, I've kind of been on my own since I was 16. 
I grew up in a dysfunctional family. Um, I used the excuse um, that um, I was a product of my environment. Um, so I was in and out of jails um, basically all my life. And this is basically all I knew. Um, I'm a grateful recovering addict, and I say grateful because I'm not using anymore today. Um, but also, I was in denial that I had mental health issues, and I used drugs, street drugs, to substitute with getting the help that I needed for mental health meds. Um, coming in and out of jail um, in my younger years, I wasn't ready. I didn't listen, I didn't pay attention to any of the classes, the resources that was provided to me. Um, it wasn't until, you know, maybe until 2000 and uh, I want to say 10, where I really kind of paid attention to what was going on with me and kind of woke up um, and realized that I really needed to get some help, so I started taking classes um, and started paying attention, really started asking for help. That was the main thing, was asking for help. Mm -hmm. um, and for this situation that I'm here for, it's kind of um, a stumbling block, block from the past that kind of caught up with me. I got involved with some very bad people and I, I did make a quick lapse of judgment um, and a quick relapse. Um, and I was only home for three months, um, but it put me here. And I'm okay with that because I'm getting myself back on the right track. Um, while I was incarcerated prior to this for the three years, I was going to Boston University. I was earning credits. Um, I was probably maybe a hundred and 32 hours away from a thousand hour program from getting my cosmetology license. Um, I did a numerous amount of programs in Framingham, but the one thing that they lacked was giving me the reentry that I needed. And I feel as though that if I had that reentry there that, I, that this jail has here and what Christina Ruccio and the administration has here, if they had provided that for me, Maybe, maybe, maybe not, but maybe I probably would have been successful. Um, so I'm grateful that I'm here right now because it's, God needed me to be here. I need to, um, it's where I'm supposed to be. I just know that. Um, so for the women's program that's here, you know, um, I've been here a few times and every time I come back, it's, it, the women's programming doesn't get old to me, no matter how many times I've done it. Mm -hmm. Because Christina Ruccio and the administration, they, there's always something new that's brought, something that's new that refreshes the, the program. Mm -hmm. um, and like Therese was saying, these programs, they're not just six to eight week programs that you just sit in and you just take these you know, these women and men that come in, they wanna be one-on-one -on -one with you. They mm -hmm. really care about you. They care about your success. You know, they're there for you. I honestly, now that I look back, I reflect on the way that my mind was before and how I used to think before because the person that I used to be had no fear. And now I, I look at things differently. Um, I try to care about somebody else and that in turn helps me to care about myself. Um, the tools that are given to me in the classroom, um, I use them on a daily basis. Um, and I know that that's going to help me when I go back home. Um, it's really, you know, there's so many different programs here. I mean, there's so many different tools that I can use. Mm -hmm. what, I, what I can say is that there's so many different programs that are categorized as so many educational programs, 
there's some program under, you know, Ruth's Way, um, Pathways to Recovery, Relapse Prevention, and Post Control. Then we have High Set, we have, um, you know, Culinary Arts. I, I would truly love to see, like, the state fund to give more vocational um, education here, um, to give us more space, because even though we are women, we're here in a men's facility. So we're very limited. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, being somebody that is a frequent flyer, as you call it, that has been in and out of this institution, their hands are tied. There's only so much that they can do with the space that they're given and you know the resources that they're providing. And they do exceptionally well with what they've given us. So. When do you get out and what are you looking forward to most? So, um, like Therese was saying, uh, Christine Ruccio brings in like once a month or if not more, um, occasionally they bring, she brings in people to talk to us. Um, and one of those is Building Pathways. Um, and I get out um, roughly next June. Um, and Building Pathways is something that I wanna do. It is a pre-apprenticeship for women, especially women of color. And it's something that I, um, that I was interested in years ago, but didn't really have an opportunity to do. And now this is a gateway, it's a doorway for something that I can, I can actually do now. Um, so I wanna take full advantage. And even though I know what kind of trade I wanna do, it doesn't matter if it's sheet metal or construction. Every time there's somebody that comes up to speak, I go. Um, so I'm looking forward to going to Building Pathways so that I can do this pre-apprenticeship, which is um, training, it's what about three months? And um, by the, you know, you, you know, do an application, you do the pre-apprenticeship, and they have about a 98 percentage rate of getting you into the apprenticeship by the trade that you want um, through connection. And I'm hoping that um, then I can do that. Um, and while I'm in the pre-apprenticeship, hoping to um, establish my ties with Project Place which is um, connections through crew, which is um, the job, excuse me, the job readiness um, life skills program that they have here, mm -hmm. which I am an alum alumni graduate of. I've been working with them since 2007. Mm -hmm. And um, possibly they can help me get a job that I can work part-time or full-time while I'm, I'm going to school and then hopefully move on to uh, do the apprenticeship and um, go to school during the trade. Mm 